What you doing up here, Carlos? It's getting nice and warm because we're getting out with Puerto Rican cold front. Our Puerto Rican cold front. How cold is it, Kel? It's a beautiful 78 degrees, maybe, maybe 81. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, we're here in Puerto Rico. Our new friend Carlos, who runs charters here, but he's also a professional surfer. I found him on Instagram. We've been talking for probably a year setting this particular trip up, and we're finally here. His good friend Jose, though, owns this 39 contender and said, you guys come fishing with us today. We'll take you way offshore and search a big dolphin, wahoo, marlin, tuna. You guys, we're going fishing, and this video is just getting started. This is one of many we're going to film here in Puerto Rico. But first, let's take it back to yesterday when we landed in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Carlos picked us up and took us to this awesome little outdoor kitchen. They were using wood that pallets are made of, you know, pallet that grass comes on and construction material. It was amazing. They had these little fried pastries, meat pastries. He took us to the beach, coconut trees, sun, warmth. It just warmed our souls. Hey, we're fired up. We got all kinds of rods, jigs, tackle. We're going way offshore in search of big fish. And y'all are riding shotgun. <laughs> y'all, let me introduce to you Cheeky. He's the first mate on this boat, and he's going to be running the show today. We're following his lead. What are we doing? Well, basically, we're just going to go off the drop south of Puerto Rico, probably around two, three, four miles, depending where you come off of. Soon as off the drop, looking for any birds, any action, usually the birds always mark the fish. So hopefully we find those frigate birds and them boobies really early to get some nice fish. I did bring one of my biggest old salties. I got my mags custom rods. They got some rods. We're ready to ride. Jose, whoa, thank you for having us. All right, Franco. And we got Miss Kelly Young. Did you get coffee this morning? Yes. Was it good? It was good. I could use two. If I drank coffee this early in the morning, I'd be hoping there was a bathroom on this boat, for sure. Hey, this is a Bircham, right? An old yes. Bircham? Yes. That's the first boat I ever went on to the Bahamas. A really nice boat. Hey, thanks for having us in Puerto Rico. Anytime, brother. So this is our first trip ever to Puerto Rico, and so far the people have been amazing. The scenery is amazing. But we're going to an island that not a ton of people go to tomorrow. We're actually going to fish today, drive two hours back to San Juan, get on Carlos's contender, and head to this awesome island. And I cannot wait to show you guys. To say I'm excited to what we're about to see would be an extreme understatement. It's insane. 
back there behind oh, that one. There's another one. There's a big one behind another it. Another push behind that one. Big one, Shinky. I'll show you little bit of cobra. Can't you see? Bro, I saw it when it was coming, right? We saw the flying fish coming out of the water, so I knew exactly they were going towards Blue Gates Bay. Um, they got mine first and then straight at him. No Heather. It looks like two big cows. We'll see. It has to be a, uh, some big bull around him. This audio is going to be <laughs> This is mad chaos. We came here for Big Dolphin and we got him. Bro, he ate like five feet from the mother was so sick. I'm gonna go ahead and get mine out of the water. That big fish is airing out. We got two pretty big dolphin on and we just hooked the giant bull. Here in Puerto Rico, they don't catch them on calm days. They got another one, a four foot. Hey, hey, where's the gaff, Captain? I got you. I got you. I'm on, I'm on. He's on. We're, we got on the fish. Okay. Oh, okay. I got him. Okay, let me hit. Let me hit. Let me Guys, this is nuts. Like, I, you, you probably can't tell watching at home how rough it is, but it's rough. This is a big dolphin, and this isn't even the big one. Alright you guys, two big mahi in the boat. Franco has a mega giant, a monster bull of a lifetime on. And Carlos has one on too. Mahi Mahi fishing always goes from zero to 60. And it just went from zero to like 400 real quick. When you have this many lines in the water, everybody has to be working together. On this side. Sorry. Look at the box! Monsters! Ah. Woo -woo. Hey, Captain Jose! Woo -woo. We've got three studs in the boat and an absolute giant bond. It's all up to him now. Look at the frigate bird diving right onto this monster fish. We got to be at least feet. What do you think, Gabe? Yeah. Do you have a bucket in here so we can wash his blood? <laughs> the fish is pulling camp. We're gonna turn. And, we're gonna turn and try to go up seas because we're gonna get a lot of spray right now. So we left land, we're out here about 25 miles. He said, we're only going to catch them when it gets rough. Well, boy, was he right, because as soon as these mountains started to grow out here, we saw two frigate birds in the distance. They used binoculars. 
to see them. The radar is not working right now, so they have to use binoculars. COVID, all the parts are hard to get, so you got to go back to old school, and that's what we did, and it worked out. <laughs> Y Franco por todo lo alto. Mira, bueno, ya, ¿qué dice? Mira, yo me siento tan feliz porque ellos están. De verdad. Es feliz para brinco, 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 brinco. Right now, this is like. You know, this is all we wanted, you know. It's. Over here, you know, you go over a lot of places in the world. And it's pretty hard, you know. You get them easier sometimes, but over here, you gotta work for it, you know. We gotta go in rough weather. And this is, you know, we got Jose, we let us use this 39 contender, but we're usually out here, you know, in 20 foot boats, you know, so this is, uh, we're fishing in almost in a cruise ship, so it's pretty awesome for us that we found the fish for Blue Gabe, so let's, let's get some more. I was happy before. <laughs> he just, so Jose just asked if I was happy. I said I was happy before we even saw a fish. He was so worried about it. He, he kept asking every five minutes for you guys, and I'm like, bro, just keep doing what, what you do every day and we're gonna catch them. So that's what we did and we hooked up. All right, the fish is about 30 yards out. It's about to get real. He's probably gonna do some good job. That was a good one. Oh, he's digging back down. We thought it was almost over. Nope. If you need to, if you need to take a break real quick and go take a Dramamine while watching this, go ahead because it's probably going to be about two more minutes. Well, oh, the fish is swimming to the right, okay? So if the fish is swimming to the right, you want to lift it. You want to lift the fish going where he's going with the current, okay? So if you have a big fish under and you pull it up, it's just going to break the line. So you gotta pull him the way he's swimming so you can lift the fish with the current and it helps you, okay? So if you put it straight up. You're just gonna break the line or rub the leader. He's gonna ch chew the leader on. We're gonna lose the fish. We don't want that, okay? So we're just basically guiding the fish to the boat. So when we initially hooked this fish, they were screaming, screaming for me to come fight it. On my videos, on my channel, I'm all for whoever wants to catch a fish. It doesn't need to be me. I'm just as happy as Franco catching this fish. It's his birthday, everybody. Tell him happy birthday. Happy birthday! Oh. He chose to spend this special day with us. That's amazing. And this is exactly what I wanted, so it's probably my first birthday ever, so stoked to be here with you, buddy. The really hard thing about editing this video is normally it's in English and I know what people are saying and I know when to cut it. Now I have no idea, so. That's why he got me. <laughs> Basically, what he's explaining is that with these big bulls, you can't really give him too much tug to bring them in because the, it's just going to release the line from the spool, you know. You just got to keep it tight, let his head pretty much turn towards you. As soon as you feel that second of slack of him turning towards you, you give it half pump, half wind, and half and half, you're going to bring them in. Short sure pumps, real down. Sure pump, real down. I'm getting in the water. I'm taking it for the team, and I'm going to show you all this from the outside looking in. <laughs> you see him? His head's pointed up now. Yeah, oh, I can see color. <laughs> Oh, that line's spraying bad. Do you want my spear gun? Oh, yours is it's connected to it too. Hook it to the rope and I'll spear this thing and we'll finish it. You can load that in the water. Oh my goodness. Here. Big ass barracuda just swam up. All right, you guys, so we went ahead and gave Gabe the spear gun because the line looks like it's chafing real bad and we really want to land this fish. Here he goes. Oh, that fish just dug a deeper. I think Gabe's 
Probably broke the line and and also sunk and died. So oh, yeah. we finished it the best way we needed to. Bro, what a shot, man! What a Are shot! Are you kidding me? Hey, Carlos! Happy birthday and thank you for the invite. Thank oh, you, buddy. Yeah. This fish Happy is for birthday. you. We're waiting for you. Definitely. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Carlos! Thank you, man. Bro, and when I saw it when they were coming, it was so sick. I just saw a flying fish fly and I knew they were just coming to our base, man. That was so sick. So we just got in from offshore. It was so rough out there. Mr. Jose's family's right up there on the beach. We're showing off our catch. We're going to head in. So what town are we in? Cabo Rojo, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Cabo Rojo. How do you say it? It's Cabo Rojo. Beach. Cabo Rojo. This beach is Combate Beach, which is combat pretty much in Spanish. And one that your friend told you. Oh yeah? Combat Beach. Oh awesome, this is Combat Beach. So yeah. we're about 10 miles from the marina. We were all the way up to 23 miles offshore. These are the two big ones, yet we still have four more giants in there. Hey, how do you beat that? You guys said you're gonna put us on giant bulls and y'all definitely did, look at that. The awesome thing about this is Kelly Young behind the camera. We filmed a whole nother show for her with completely different dolphin, completely different footage and it will be just as good as this one. What do y'all say we go play some? Yes, sir. Let's, let's do it, man. Let's do it. do it. Carlos, that fish is bigger than you. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's low. Uh, Woo! Hey! Woo! Who's ready to go test out the big Danko? Look at that. <laughs> I'm going. I'm telling you guys, Puerto Rico, get on an airplane and come here. It's safe. It, they're really cautious about COVID, but you can travel here with your eyes closed. It's no different for us to come here than it is for us to fly to Missouri. Come here, I, I promise you won't be disappointed. All right, so time to see what this huge bull weighs before we clean it. Oh my God, it's gonna rip. We're still gonna go higher. That's good enough. Uh, and it's 50 pounds. It's, it passed the 50 pounds. Uh, that only reaches 50 pounds. Yeah. We need a bigger scale. So we need a bigger scale. 50 pounds, we need a bigger scale. Oh, look at that big old joker. I'll say 50 pounds. It's 56. 56? 54 maybe. That's a big one. I say we clean him though. So we're, we need to get this show on the road. We got rain coming. Let's do it. Let's go. We know he's over 50. Definitely. 50 plus. I will say 55, 56 maybe, definitely. They're and big. we already know that one's equally as big, so two over 50. How do you top that? I don't think there's any world in the world where you can predict you're gonna go catch two monsters. Carlos said, let's go catch him. He got his buddy over here. They said, we're definitely gonna catch him. And we went and caught him. All right, this is a giant dolphin to clean. I've got my big knife and my seven inch. We're gonna get started. Anytime you're cleaning a fish of this size, Take your time because you could end up missing a lot of meat. Especially a bull, you want to come all the way into that head because all this is meat too. Of course, as soon as we start, it starts to rain. Now, a lot of people will pull the skin. I don't like pulling the skin. I start on his head and I go to the back. Just like so. Every ounce of this fish will be consumed. And we still have way more footage to show you guys of this fishing trip. I'll show you while we're cooking. Once I get this head meat off, always, in my opinion, start at the head because you can 
work your way back. So I'll go ahead and push it against this wall because they have a huge backbone that you have to go up and over. Angling my knife, just like so. Then I can pull it to me. It's a little bloodier than I'd like to show on YouTube, but it's a fish, it was harvested properly. I think they'll deal with it. Look at that. That's a filet. Mahi tacos for days. We will see y'all in the kitchen. I'm gonna properly introduce everybody, properly introduce where we're at, what town we're in, what we're doing, and we're gonna eat some good food. Y'all see how big that chunk of meat is right there? On a nice dolphin, there's hardly much meat to eat on their head. That is just the piece of head meat on that big dolphin. This is Carlos. I'll have his Instagram right here. Him and I have been talking for over a year setting this particular trip up. Then COVID happened, sort of shut the island down. Guess what? It opened back up and we're here. And this is Cheeky. Cheeky is Carlos's buddy and they set this trip up today, which we're two hours from San Juan where we flew into. And trust me guys when I tell you, Puerto Rico is open. Like you can come here. It's so, it's easier to travel here than almost anywhere. These guys are the real deal. Carlos runs charters. You run charters too? Scuba diving. Scuba diving charters, which you know Kelly and I are gonna do that. So today we dolphin fished all day. Jose let us use the boat and come along with him. That was amazing. I mean, Amazing. so all these birds are out there eating flying fish and flying fish, if you don't know, they're little fish about that long and they jump up and they fly when they're spooked. Those dolphins are solely there to eat flying fish and they only are there eating them when it's really, really windy. Typically at home, we're like, the heck with that? We're not gonna go fishing, it's rough. Here, these guys were so excited, they're like, it's almost rough enough. And Kelly and I are like, oh, okay, <laughs> almost. You guys, these people, this island is open. Come here. But now let's get to cooking. Taking my seven inch Danko, obviously you guys watch me clean that over 50 pound bowl. Their head meat has a little bit of a different texture than the whole rest of their body. And it's an awesome cut of meat. We're gonna make dolphin tacos but here's the catch. I have zero seasonings other than salt. Salt, too salt. You watch my jellyfish video? <laughs> and the salt. Japanese guy says, too salt. This two. Both? These two, yeah, no, that one. Yes. Yeah, that one. That one, okay, this is too salt. Too, too salt? Sa yeah, too salt, I don't, I don't like. This is that? All, all eat. Oh, okay. This is, this is salt. Salty. No, I, okay. I don't like. For the okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna just cut it up in about taco sized chunks. I don't wanna cook it very long. Just enough to where we pretty much kill anything unedible on it. Now, Carlos and I have talked a lot. Cheeky and I just met this morning and it's literally like we've known each other forever. Dude, tell me by now you know they get excited when they hear a bull dolphin. Kelly and I are like, what? I don't know what they're saying, but they're super <laughs> excited about something. So these birds are traveling with the seas. Which direction are they actually going? From east to west direction. So we run out there this morning. They're using binoculars. Again, it was so hard to film, especially with the camera Kelly's holding because so much saltwater spray. All of a sudden, these two started yelling words. I had no idea, but I'm like, give me a rod. Let me put it in the water and I'm gonna try to hook something. We didn't get it on film, but he did a slide into the back of the boat, like yeah. how he didn't break a leg. I don't know, you guys, the enthusiasm. <laughs> and it's funny because so many people Kelly and I film with, they don't get it. They're like, no, okay, I got a fish on. When they started screaming, I'm like, YouTube quality. <laughs> All we have in this pan is a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. The lighting's not that bright. You get the adjust. We're gonna crank the heat up high. Put it in there, let it start sizzling. Better get this cut. 
I did pick up a marinade style something or another at the little gas station. Mixed it with mayonnaise. And I know it's going to be good. And this over here, how do you pronounce it again? Natalia. Hey. It's like Natalie with the A on the end. <laughs> Did I nail that? She was so worried, she's like, he's going to get it wrong. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of salt. About that much. It will be done in a minute. We got some onion sauteed. All right, this is how this is about to go down. We're going to add a little bit of my special sauce. I'm going to call that my Puerto Rican sauce because I came up with it in Puerto Rico, so might as well call it my Puerto Rican sauce. The people here, so, so nice. Like, nobody on the boat knew each other today, and you would have thought we'd been friends our whole life. Just like so. Some sauteed onions. Kelly loves sauteed onions, and so do I. A little bit of avocado. Just a teeny bit of salt on top, like so. And I'm gonna feed her first because she's been holding my camera all day. Look at my. I was literally gonna point that out. Am I sunburnt though? Really? What do raccoons even say? <laughs> like I've heard them fighting when I'm deer hunting and they sound mean. Come on, let's try it. That is a taco fit for a champion. I can eat it. Hey, by the way, before I forget, Big shout out. Oh, hot. The fish is very moist. The head meat tastes a little more like uh, tender. Lobster. Yeah, it has a different taste. The onions, though. Hmm. I don't know. That Puerto Rican sauce is pretty damn good. <laughs> but can, can we first, though, talk about these shorts? <laughs> you got to get Blue Gabe a pair. Oh, for sure, man. So you saw us catch them, clean them, and cook them. Mm -hmm. But Kelly does something on her video today that I didn't do, and it's super, super crazy. Make sure anytime I do a video, always go to Kelly Young's channel and check it out, because she's probably doing a video right alongside me, and she always puts an awesome twist to hers. Right now though, we're ending this video because tomorrow morning we gotta get up and drive two hours back to San Juan, then get on a boat and drive 50 miles in Carlos's contender to go to what island? Culebra. Culebra, I guess the spear fishing and the fishing is amazing. Real quick though, a super sneak peek. Check out this sailfish that swam up to me right now. Yeah, that was dope. All right, you guys, we got lots more to come. We're turning this camera off right now, but we'll be turning it on again in the morning. Like Jake always says though, it's time to get up out of here and get out of shape.